is a short race, only a couple of laps. She's got a lot of people she needs to pass in a hurry. Before we get into the video, I have a couple of uh, matters of business that we need to attend to. A little bit of housekeeping that we need to jump through, but hey, I'll be quick. Okay, first off, J-Rod, A-Rod, sorry, A-Rod, <laughs> I owe you a jersey, man. When we drove across the country, we asked for guesses how much it would cost us in gas to drive from Florida to Washington. At the time, fuel was like $4.50 a gallon, and now it's, it's like a dollar more, so at least we had that going for us. We had a lot of guesses too, guys. A lot of people guessed. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. The clear winner was A-Rod. He guessed $1,549. And my man was only $10 off. The actual total was $1,539.82. So he was less than $10. Bro, amazing. Good job. That's incredible. You just earned yourself a jersey. So um, message me, email me, whatever. Get a hold of me. Prove it's you somehow. I don't know. And then uh, and then we will send you a jersey. And I do want to apologize that it took so long for me to give it away. It's not that I'm greedy, um, but I actually I filmed a little montage going across the country, getting gas, was going to tally it up on the screen and, and add it as we we go I thought it might be cool for people who guess to have some anticipation and be like all right am I am I on track am I close I just don't have time to edit it so I just I'm just gonna tell you guys just have to trust me it was 1539 I look at it this way I've got I've got race footage that I need to edit you guys have seen me pump gas before I'm sure you'd rather me get to the race footage and edit that and get that out rather than a, a cross-country pumping up filling up gas montage um, so a rod Congrats, man. We'll get you a jersey ASAP. And for the rest of you guys, I just wanted to let you know that we are doing a merch drop this week only. It's a limited edition merch drop and we are doing a giveaway of a Moto Loco gear set. Everyone who orders something on our site, we will pick a random winner and the random winner will get a gear set. We got a few different shirts to choose from. We have some hats and I know there's not much, but it's our first month. So we wanna do this every single month. So we're gonna start small. We're gonna have a few items if you guys want one if you want to support us if you want to help us out The money will go to the giveaway and future giveaways and like bike parts So I know like Luke wants new grips Lillian needs new plastic and stuff So it'll go towards bike parts and then if things work out if it's profitable We'll keep doing this every single month and get better and better giveaways and more and more merch designs and stuff So I've got ideas. I got things that I want to try for merch but for right now, we're just starting it small. We just got a few to keep it easy on us because I'm a little nervous. I don't want to like screw up shipping overseas or something. So we're just starting small. Hopefully going to work out the bugs. Like I'm new to this. If you guys have any issues with uh, making orders, let me know. And we'll we'll try to get the bugs worked out and then grow this thing in, and uh, make it like a, a uh, monthly thing that we do every, every single month. So I'm excited. I'll talk about it more later. But for right now, let's get going with this video. What's up, man? Sign off the gates. Where's your bike? Lillian has it. Lillian has it? Oh. There she is. Can I go more outside? Yeah, I would go more outside, yeah. Gonna use this post as a camera stand real quick. So one of the things I liked about this camera when I first got it was the stabilization. I would seriously be able to like walk with the camera in my hand and the picture was fine. I don't know if I dropped it too many times or it, what's going on, but for some reason it's like really shaky. And I'm not liking it. So I'm gonna try to not walk as much with the camera, but okay. So we got Luke coming up first. Luke is doing the 85 class. They're putting the junior and intermediates together. They're gonna drop that gate. And then next after that, they're gonna drop the beginner gate, the 85 beginner gate. Gate. So I'm hoping that he does good. I hope that he's competitive in the uh, 85 junior class and I hope that none of the 85 beginner kids catch up to him because if they do Then I'm selling his bike or I'm giving it to Mason 
Luke, do you want starting blocks? Are there any? No, but I could have Lillian run back to the truck and get some. No. no? Okay, lucked out, Lil. Next moto. Okay. Last time Luke raced here in the junior class, he was in an epic battle for dead last. I'm not joking. This time I'm really hoping he's a little bit closer to mid-pack.
come out one more lap to go I think he can get at least one more pass here though Slickest turn of all time. Like I gave it a tiny bit of gas, my back end was in front of me in like two seconds. Still waiting on the results for uh, Luke's 85 junior and intermediate class. I guess some of the kids in his class got disqualified for running a super mini, so that's probably why it's taking a little bit longer to get the results. Okay, so Luke got 10th. Uh, I'm guessing like maybe if he didn't crash, he would have got maybe like this because he was on the ground for a long time. There are a lot of riders that got by him. So hopefully he can clean up that mistake and top five next moto would be rad. You think he can do it? Yeah. I think he can maybe do it too. sound of the 65 class up next. They're putting all the bikes together. Beginners, juniors, intermediates, all together in a one gate drop. So Mason's probably gonna be mid-pack and then we'll just have to wait for the results to find out exactly where he places. So really, I have zero expectations. All I want is for him to have fun and then win. How do you think Mason's gonna do? Good. 
I, I crashed down that corner. You crashed in the first turn? Do you have any advice for Mason on how he should not crash in the first turn? No? no? Okay. So, I'm sorry, Mason, you're out of luck. Ryan, good luck, man. Ethan, good luck, buddy. Mason, have fun, bro. Dad, there's one gate drop. Yeah, it's all together, one gate drop, yeah. Was a uh, poor reaction time. It was a little slow off the gate, but that's okay. It'll just make things more interesting for the first couple laps, right? Mason's is doing his padded, looking around. He's got a pretty big gap from the person, the rider in front of him is pretty far ahead. So he's just looking back, watching people catch up to him. Mason left 
pass somebody by. Mason, stop looking back, bro. Go get him. Catch up again. <laughs> are probably where Mason's passed more people on the track than anywhere else. Yo, Mason! Hey, were you behind me? What? Were you behind me? Yeah. How'd you guys catch up to me so fast, dude? How did that happen? Flashback. End of flashback. What do you want? Move the tear off. There, is that better? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Gina, what does Gina stand for? Slow. Is Gina short for like Janita or? Okay. Is it like Jennifer? Like, is your full name Jennifer, and then you go by Gina? You didn't move it. I did move it. That's good. Enough. There, is that good? Yeah, it'll probably give me a whole shot. It's out of the way now. No excuses. Okay. Lillian is all the way to the inside. All she's got to do is push every single other bike wide and she'll be good.
one person way out front. Sounds to me like a YZ250. Uh, this is a women's class, obviously, so uh, Lillian's competing against the girls her age plus the big bikes. Here we got Gina with Lil. This is a short race, only a couple laps. She's got a lot of people she needs to pass in a hurry. Nice job, I think she passed about four riders in about a third of a lap. So here's my tip for today. If you're gonna pass other riders, do it before this S turn because it's a big traffic jam. Every time you get into this S turn behind someone, it slows everybody up. Gina. There's Gina about six seconds back to Lillian. One more to go. We got a battle here. We got Lillian and Gina in a battle right here.
All right, guys, half a lap left. If Lillian can get two more passes, this will seriously be like one of the best races I've ever seen. Yeah, you got some good passes. There was just a lot of traffic. I caught up to the two girls in front of me. And I, yeah, you did. That back section is so bad for passes because I caught up to them like right here. Yeah. And I was like, um, I don't think I can make anything happen. That was a good race. That was fun. I was talking to Lillian though, not you. Well, that, was, that was fun anyway. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, and peace out.